initially it started with a conservation innovation grant and talking to the state agronomist about potential for no-till establishment of cover crops directly into ASOD. We just flail mode uh, scalped the field here to suppress the sod a little. In our second year of that replication we put in the farmer grower grant with Sarah to help with that project. I think Rich came on just as we were finishing up the first year of the replicated trials and it fit right in with Rich's agroecology background. So it was no-till hairy vetch followed by skim till. Okay, so skim till. So we skim tilled the hairy vetch in with the rotavator and then planted the corn and into that and that was it. Wow. So we got... <laughs> So we got, uh, what, 10 feet? <laughs> uh, I'm six foot three, so. I'm, I'm really interested in how agricultural communities function. And so, you know, what Dorn is, is looking at and interested here is really uh, an attempt to kind of manipulate the agricultural community. So, you know, the community being the hayseed and all the plant species that are part of that, then the hairy vetch, and so it, it becomes somewhat of a, a question about intercropping and, and community interactions. And so, you know, that's really in line with, you know, what my my interests are. And add that I mean it was a really good fit because I was interested in the applied piece of it, but by partnering with with Rich, he's able to take the same work that we did to get the simple applied result and collect another layer of data which is going to be useful in a much more fundamental way. From, from my perspective, the farmer TA relationship was especially important in getting feedback on plot design and approach, setting up the randomized block design especially, and talking through what the mechanisms are, what we should be paying attention to. For me, uh, you know, it's just been a, a great opportunity as a, a new faculty coming in to have a project that's on the ground and a, a collaborator that's willing and enthusiastic and it's a rich data set to, to be able to dive into and it, it's, it's really an opportunity for me to learn, uh, you know, you know, some of the critical issues that um, folks are interested in and a springboard for additional collaborations. It, it really ended up being a, a nice synergistic relationship between Dorn's project and, and some of my interests, which has really helped to expand kind of the, the impact of the project. <laughs> cool. Yeah, we've got lots of experiments in our future with this guy.